So you've got your iPhone 8 Plus and you need to protect it. So Elixir has you covered. They sent me over a bunch of nice cases here. I'm really feeling this one. Uh, cases and tempered glass. So first we'll start with the tempered glass here. We'll pop this on. Again, shout out to Elixir for pumping this out for me. Now the, the great part about this is the accessories for your current iPhones should work for this one too. So they've got this in here. They've got everything nicely taped up inside. All right. All right, so let's print this out. And this is the kind I like because it covers up. It has like that cover up on that part of that notch. I really like that. So we'll peel off this way. So but first, let's actually um, clean it up. So we get a little kit here. I can get it open. <laughs> How could a little kit like this troll me on camera? Come on. crazy let's go here so you get a little thing here to um, get dust off you got the first one is your wet wipe this is actually really wet it's almost wet as slippery I'm gonna get this on open up buddy come on man this kid is trolling me so <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put this on and clean it up We've got our tempered glass that we're gonna put on. Again, this is the Alexa. Alexa has, they have some good stuff, man. They have some really good things. So you go one, then two, then one, then two. Get it all cleaned up. With a black phone, you gotta really make sure that it's clean because if you don't, you will see, as soon as you drop the glass down, those nicks will be there, man. The little dirt particles will show up and you will be upset because if you lift it, unfortunately for me, I have multiple tempered glass, but if you lift it, it's a wrap. I'm all cleaned up. I am all cleaned up. All right. So let's pop this on here. You get one shot at this when it's a black foam, because if you mess it up, you will see it. So what I do is I kind of try to line with the home button and the top of the camera there, or the notch, primarily the home button, because once I drop this down, it is a wrap. It's gotta be centered just right, and it's gotta be on point. So I kinda, if I get it lined up a little bit, I try to drop it down at the right spot. And that's about the best as I can get it. So once you get that on, you'll see if you did it right, and it's gonna adhere. And you'll see either a halo effect or some dirt under there. <laughs> but uh, looks like I have a little bit of halo. Nope, look like I'm all good. I'm a little bit of halo in, but it, it's gonna rub out. Yeah, this is actually, a, this was a really good install, Jay. I gotta toot my own horn there. Now let's just hope the glass is strong enough to hold up for a long extended period of time. Um, there it is, all installed. Let's clean this desk up and get you some cases. All right, so let's tear these open here. All right, so here are the cases that I have from Alexa. Let's start with the clear one because honestly, I won't use this clear case. I don't really care too much for clear cases, especially on black phones, uh, but this is what it looks like. You can keep your phone open, clear. You'd wanna clean it off, obviously. You can see all the ports and everything, how they line up. This actually gives the camera some uh, drop or lay on the table protection. If you land it down like this, the camera's not really touching that much anymore. Ports open here, volume rockers covered, obviously, and power buttons covered. And you can see the ports open on the bottom. So that is the clear case that immediately comes off because I'm not really feeling that one too much. This case right here is a two-piece case, kind of like a Spigen style case. It's got a, this might look like, it, look like it has texture, but it doesn't. It's actually flat and smooth. So let's go in here. 
and these will obviously work with um, with the screen protectors that are on there because the iPhone doesn't have. Uh, oh, that's a huge fail. <laughs> That's a huge fail, man. Look at this. I'm not editing this out. Look at the Apple logo is cut out wrong. And I think the reason it's like that is because these cases actually work with the iPhone 7 Plus 2 as well. The camera cutout is good, but I mean, I don't know if that's what it is, but that's a huge fail, which means this one's probably going to fail too. And I really like this one. So let's put this on here. That's a huge fail, Alexa. I'm not editing that out, man. Bumpy cam. Let's pop this one on here. Same thing, man. Huge fail. Huge fail, Alexa. Look at this. This is jacked. I'm not going to tell anybody to buy these, man. That's just like real talk. I'm not going to tell people to buy these. Look at how these look. This looks horrible. The Apple logo is cut off. Unless that's the way it's supposed to be designed, I don't know. But I think these are probably more for the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, the ports and everything line up like it should, but that's jacked, man. That's jacked. <laughs> not. I'm leaving this in so you guys can see what you're going to get just in case you decide to buy these. Um, but, you know, the case does look good. I mean, this one is the one I like the best, but this is jacked right here, man. Come on, man. That's jacked. This is such a nice case, but it's jacked right there. Fail. Ugh. Fail, fail, fail. It's your man, J. Will. This is the Alexa. Looks like I'm going to have to rock with this one for a little bit. Deuce.